Typically, when you search up investment banking on YouTube or Google, you hear about the grueling 80, 100 hour weeks. But is it possible to have an investment banking job where you work about 50 to 60 hours a week on average? What? That's impossible! My answer to that is yes. Anything is possible. And I will be going further into that today. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela and this video is going to be focused on lifestyle within investment banking, specifically the other side of things. So I first want to talk about this Wall Street Oasis post. It says, I work for a shit bank and a shit team and I love it. Essentially, this user is saying that they work at a popular investment bank that a lot of people make fun of. They don't have a ton of deal flow and their hours are typically 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., which would mean this person's working 12 hours per day. I assume not as late on Friday, so that's around 50 to 60 hours per week. Now the impossible seems to be more possible. And this user is essentially saying that if you're considering having a simple life, look towards big banks that people in Wall Street Oasis say have no prestige, and it might be one of the best decisions you make in terms of work-life balance and a laid-back culture. It might not be the key, but it definitely helps. So that is a really common question that I've seen. Which banks have the best lifestyle? Do some banks have a more chill and laid-back culture than others? And the answer is yes to some extent, but the main difference will be within groups. So there might be some differences from bank to bank based on policies. For example, some banks might enforce a no Saturday work policy. Other banks have work from home policies where they'll allow their employees to work from home a couple of days per month. These guidelines will vary from bank to bank and affect your work-life balance to an extent. There are also bulge bracket and boutique investment banks as well and cultures will vary there. However, it's hard to say whether a boutique investment bank will have a better culture than bulge bracket investment bank because some do while others don't. There are generalizations to be made and they hold a lot of the time. At boutique investment banks, for example, your team might be smaller, but as a result, you might be taking on more work. So I'm not going to tell you which banks are more chill versus not chill because if you ask someone from one group at Goldman Sachs, they're going to have a very different answer from someone at another group. So that brings the question of will the lifestyle be better or worse in specific groups? And the answer is yes. Oftentimes, the lifestyle of a particular group is going to be dependent on who the senior people are and how the deal flow is. The senior people of the group matter because they set the tone for the culture of the group. Bill Cress of Cress Tool and Die. Bill Cress is super old and really mean. Your bank as a whole might offer a Saturday policy where no one works, but your group's senior people might not enforce it and therefore you won't have it. No. It's really hard to tell the culture of the group unless you speak to the junior people who are working within it. So investment bank A's healthcare group might be a lot busier than investment bank B's healthcare group because they might have more deal flow or maybe their senior you know, people don't really care as much about work-life balance and culture. And even if your group doesn't have great deal flow, your group can also be really aggressive about marketing to new clients and you'll just be working on pitch decks all day. I can sell it. Can you sell it? I will say though that some groups do have a reputation for having a worse work-life balance and some have a reputation for having better work-life balance. For example, M&A is oftentimes known to have slightly worse work-life balance compared to other product groups like ECM or DCM, which are the two capital markets groups. I highly, highly recommend trying to gauge what the work-life balance of a group will look like by talking to the analysts within it. Honestly, I've spoken with analysts who say that they leave work by 6 or 7 p.m. every day. How did you do that? And that's only possible because yes, Maybe their team doesn't have great deal flow, but on the other hand, their senior people are super nice and care about work-life balance. And so yes, 50 to 60 hours is possible. Don't think that it's not possible. Regardless of which group you decide to apply for, 
I highly recommend using Financial Edge as a resource in this process. They deliver training for the top four investment banks. They offer a wide range of courses such as the Investment Banker, which I've really recommended for recruiting for investment banking. More recently, they've launched a new product called Felix. It's a subscription service which offers an on-demand video library with over 2,000 instructor-led videos. You can find topics for anything from industry-specific financial modeling to crucial interview skills. They even have ready-to-use sector and transaction models that are free to download. On top of that, a feature I really like is their Ask the Expert feature where you'll have access to Wall Street instructors who can help answer any technical question within 24 hours. They have a market and industry data section where you can get easy access to SEC C filings, WAC, comparables, and much more. If you're interested in the Felix program or any of their online classes, you can use my coupon code for 25% off. So we've talked about the differences between different banks, the differences between different groups, but what about geography? This can oftentimes be a touchy subject for people, but what I found is that the main headquartered offices in New York or Hong Kong or London typically have the busiest lifestyles and the more satellite type offices for example in the united states their chicago offices california offices texas offices those tend to have slightly better work-life balances the stereotype is that they're a little bit more laid back and from the analysts that i've talked to that does hold true having said all that Banking is still banking. You should never join banking expecting it to be a 9 to 5 regardless of which group you choose. However, some groups do have better lifestyles and I will say I think it's possible to work 50 to 60 hour weeks as an investment banker depending on the bank, the group, and the geography that you choose. But there are so many other factors involved in that. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!